Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are now in week three of the technical writing class, and I wanted to make a video today to go over this week's lesson. Um, I want to talk about the announcement, kind of go over it with you together, talk about the audience discussion, which is running from Wednesday the 22nd to Sunday the 26th, the first post needing to be in by Friday the 24th. Make sure I got those dates right. Yep, Wednesday the 22nd, Sunday the 26th. Uh, and first post by Friday the 24th. Remember, get at least a couple of replies into your classmates as well in order to earn full credit. So um, we're gonna also talk about the thesis and outline assignment in this video, and just kind of give you guys an overview of what we're looking at. So let me share my screen with you real quick. Um, here is the announcement for the week. Um, as I said, uh, we have two main goals this week. The first is the um, audience discussion. The audience discussion is gonna be running from Wednesday the 22nd, like I said, through Sunday the 26th. Um, let me show you exactly what this discussion is all about. Um, maybe, there we go. Okay, so um, what you need to do for this discussion is that you need to imagine a new person who holds an important position in, in your workplace, like a new CEO has been hired. Um, and you need to come up with three different audiences that you need to communicate this information to, and you need to think about how you would best communicate that information to them. So essentially what this discussion is trying to get you to do is to think about how audience changes um, the means of communication as well as what is communicated. Um, if we think about like um, Aristotle at the beginnings of rhetoric, um, the rhetorical triangle involves the subject, the speaker, and the audience. And the idea is that um, you need to, as a speaker, as a writer, as a anyone putting a message out there, you need to think about the audience and the best way of reaching that audience. And so that's what this discussion is going to kind of try and get you to think about is um, three different types of audiences and what the best means would be to reach them and then also how the information, the attitude, the tone, um, the style would change to best address those audiences. So for example, just real quick, um, there are subjects that I talk about with my sixth graders, that I talk about with my seniors in high school, that I talk about in college classes. And in all three ways, I have to be real careful and think carefully about what those different audiences bring to the table and how I can best communicate and educate. Um, so that's the audience discussion. The next thing is the thesis and outline assignment. And um, to help with that, I want to once again, share my screen with you once I get this set up and go over a short presentation. Um, here we go. So uh, once again, this is a short presentation uh, about the thesis and outline assignment. Um, Essentially, a thesis sentence is going to be one sentence. It's usually found at the end of an introduction paragraph. That's not a hard rule, but that's um, kind of an uh, accepted way of doing things. Um, and this thesis is going to tell the reader, this one sentence is going to tell the reader exactly what the essay is going to be about. Um, it's going to put forth a claim or a stance on your topic, and then it's going to offer some justification for that claim or stance. Um, generally, there are two types of thesis statements. They're, they might be called different things if you've heard about them in different grammar books or writing books, but um, for our purposes, I call them open and closed thesis statements. Um, an open thesis statement just gives the general support or justification for the claim, but it doesn't go into any, any specifics. Well, as a closed thesis statement gives the justification and goes into specifics. So what I mean by that, um, an open example might be utilizing clean, unlimited resource, utilizing a clean, unlimited resource, solar farms are the future of energy production. The thesis really there is solar farms are the future of energy production. It isn't giving me like any real com com concrete reasons. It's not saying like solar farms are the future of energy production because A, B, C. A closed thesis statement, however, is gonna provide that because A, B, C statement. So solar farms are the future of energy production because they are a clean source of energy, one, they will produce many jobs too, and the sun's rays are an unlimited resource, three. So that's kind of the difference between an open and closed thesis statement. In general, an open thesis statement works better for longer papers, longer research projects, 
or for more complicated ideas that can't be broken down into the three simple steps or the three simple reasons. Closed thesis statements work really good for short papers, um, five pages or less. They'll work really well for exact things when you're talking about like, these are the three steps that we need to do, or this is the three reasons why we should do this. Um, because it keeps it focused, it keeps it tight. Okay, so now that we've talked about thesis statements, let's talk um, a little bit more about outlines. Essentially an outline is the skeleton system for your essay. It is the organizational tool by which writers plan and game plan their projects. Um, as a teacher, it's super easy to tell when someone didn't write an essay or didn't write an outline for an essay because ideas don't tend to follow in a logical format. Um, similar ideas aren't connected. Basically, our brains do not think in perfect outline form or perfect chronological order, or really our brains don't think in much of any order at all. Um, ideas just kind of pop in and out of our heads. We'll be thinking about one thing and then something else will come. Um, if you've ever tried to write like a long paper without an outline, you'll know that by the end, your conclusion has almost nothing to do with what your intro was um, because you weren't, you didn't have a game plan. So outlines are pretty much the game plan. Um, they can seem like busy work for sure. I totally get that. But in the long run, they'll save you a lot of time because you won't have to go back and rewrite the first two thirds of your paper because your ideas changed um, in the process of writing your paper, which totally happens. Your ideas change as you're writing and researching. That's fine. But it's much easier to go back and restructure an outline than it is to rewrite a whole paper. So outline form. In general, the best and most relied upon outline format that is used in colleges throughout the United States for speech classes, history classes, English classes, science classes, every class that I ever encountered in my life has actually wanted four level outlines. Four level outlines are a type of outline form that goes from general to specific. Um, so let me show you what I mean here. Um, this is a four level outline example. It starts out with the Roman numeral one, and those are for like your major sections, meaning introduction, body, conclusion. It then moves to a capital letter A or B or C, depending on how many main points you have for that section. It then moves down to Arabic numbers, one, two, three, for sub points for that section, and then those sub points get lowercase letter sub points as well. Um, if that sounds confusing, I totally get it, but it will look, once you visualize it like this, I think it makes more sense. So Roman numeral number one, introduction. That lets us know that this section of my paper or my outline is the introduction. Capital letter A, what is an outline? That's the main point of this section. Uh, Arabic numeral one, an outline is a tool for organizing thoughts. There's my first main point. If we skip down, Arabic numeral number two, an outline makes writing much more simple. There's my second main point. And then my little a and little b, little a and little b are sub sub um, this is, again, like I said, sort of a standard method of doing an outline. Um, your outline will have an introduction, a body, and conclusion. Those are your Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three. Um, let me get back to where I was on this presentation. Okay. Um, your introduction should include some kind of introductory device, an attention getter, something to spark your reader's interest. It should also include your thesis statement. So here's an example of um, an introduction using the idea of solar farms. Uh, here's my number, Roman number one, introduction. My first main point, scientists estimate that civilization will soon reach a point known as peak oil. My first, uh, my sub point for that, one peak oil is when the earth's production of precious resources will no longer meet our demands. And then our sub sub points second main idea, sub sub points, and then thesis, right? Um, so the idea is that you're just kind of taking each section, breaking it down into the main things you want to talk about, and then breaking those main things down into sub points or sub sub points. Um, and you will continue that throughout the body, which will look something like this. Again, Roman numeral two. Um, here, actually, this should say body. I kind of messed this up. This should say the should say body. This would then be an A. Um, bad example on my part, but you see what I'm trying to get at. Um, okay, so that's the thesis and outline assignment. 
Um, I'm looking for good argumentative theses written in third person point of view. Please no first person or second person. I feel you know statements. Um, that is the assignment there. Um, again, if we go back to the announcements, you'll see that this assignment is due, the thesis uh, and outline assignment is due on Sunday, the 26th by 11.59 p.m. Um, that's it. We have the audience discussion and we have the thesis and outline assignment. If you have any questions about putting together your thesis or composing your outline or anything like that, please let me know and I would be more than happy to help you guys. I uh, hope you have a great week. Take care.